Welcome to Love Them Knives. Yes, we do love them knives. And we've got the dogfish. The dogfish. Aluminum. This is interesting, isn't it? Where you can flip the clip. Um, and so they've put this nice little piece in here to where you can do that. And so this will be interesting on disassembly. See how all this pops out to do that. This is a button lock. Like I said, aluminum, black aluminum. Uh, this is the only variant that I could see. I, this is an all black knife called the Dogfish 154 CM steel, a 3.15 inch blade and uh, finger flickable, top flipper, front flipper. Um, there's multiple ways to fidget with this knife and to open this knife. So um, I think I've heard a couple of people talk about it and, uh, you know, say that they thought this was a fairly interesting knife that uh, Kaiser had uh, put out in the market. And, you know, right here, there's a lot of jimping along here. And then it comes up to kind of a harpoon-ish a little bit uh, area. But, you know, very, very practical looking blade. Oh, yeah, by the way, will it cut anything? Okay. It's got a pretty reasonable factory edge on it. So there's that. And of course, this is obviously in the Vanguard series. Cale, uh, Caleb Waldman uh, apparently is the collaborative designer on this. And I don't know anything about him. So, uh, and you know what? I've had some different Kaiser knives come out not too uh, long ago that were different collaborative uh, people, but they weren't like custom knife makers. So they were probably somebody who was, you know, had some design um, training in tech school or college and then decided to take a shot at it, you know. And so uh, that's fine. You know, uh, Kaiser seems like they're pretty open to working with a lot of different uh, people. And so here you go, aluminum. The Dogfish, not a terribly expensive knife. It's $99 if you could catch this either on sale or um, you can check out the Kaiser with rewards, etc. I'll have the link of that below. And then White Mountain Knives, I'll have the link for that below. And I know on White Mountain, you know, LTK is your discount code for 10% off. So, I mean, that would get you $10 off, basically. Okay. So, the, you know, you would be in the $89 range or something like that with this knife. Okay. Now, 154 CM. And then this one, they're talking about Caleb, inspired small, a great, you know, dogfish, of course, the small and highly aggressive shark. Okay, 154 CM steel, button lock, aluminum, water ripple type of uh, scales here. And then, you know, here's the, the model number and basically the information on that. So, dog fish. And you know what? Let's, let's put it on the scales, kind of see how much it weighs. Because it's not a real big knife. Well, it's under 100 grams. 96.5 grams. And, oh, let's roll it back around 2 ounces if we can. 3.4. Okay, not much. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, 3.15, huh? Well, it is over 3. So, yeah, okay. And about 80 millimeters and overall 17, no, 18 and a half, 18.6, 18.7, somewhere in there, uh, centimeters at seven, under seven and a half. So 7.4, 7.35 inches overall length. And I guess if we finish up on our, on our stats here. 0.48, so fairly thin at 12.2 millimeters, 
and then probably about a 2.7 to 3 millimeter blade stock. Yeah, right there, 2.9.11. Okay. So what do you think? Uh, comfort wise, well, you can roll up, and I, you can roll up on this like this. So you could hold it pretty easily like this because you got this choil area up in here and then your fingers and all that kind of stuff rolling in here or you could back up and hold it like this but then it's kind of a three finger knife so really it seems more like this was intended to you know get you right up into it okay and you know what that looks like a slight recurve am i seeing that it almost looks like it doesn't it but you know what maybe not uh it's really hard to see uh it probably come right out of there the first sharpening <laughs> i don't know but it does almost look like a slight recurve. Oh, well. Um, definitely fidget friendly. Uh, depends. Do you like aluminum? Uh, is that kind of a nice, interesting medium uh, for knife scales? Of course, ProTech is, you know, made their whole industry on it, right? Pretty much. So, yeah, it's, it's very... Uh, it's very widely used. Pocket clip, obviously, I'm thinking that's titanium. Backspacer, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, but no, I mean, ergos, no. To, to, for me, this is it. This back here really doesn't feel comfortable, and it makes me feel like I'm too disconnected from the knife. Um, yeah, reverse grip, I want to be right up in here like that. So there's that, okay? I'm not getting any button stick. So, so far, so good on that. Uh, but yeah, it's lightweight. It's grippy. Uh, and you know what? This is very, very muted here, okay? Because it, it's very, you know, small, but easy to actuate. So you've got this, you've got this. I'm not the world's, you know, uh, fan of front flippers necessarily. But for those of you that want multiple opening with the blade cutaway, okay? Top flipper, front flipper, and then don't forget, just push the button, right? and flick it, okay, so you can do that too. And there's that, obviously there are ceramic bearings in here as well. And I can't tell you about how many times I have a disconnect or taken apart a button lock Kaiser, but you know, one thing I would like to check out is just this pocket clip setup. Not that I really necessarily want to take the whole damn knife apart, but um, I wonder how this situation goes down in here. And you know what? I don't know that I'm going to find out unless I do a complete disassembly. And you know what? This is really strange because look at that. And here it is. And then there's your little, your little, uh, spring button lock okay so let's look at this back i mean this is the front i'm sorry well no this is the back this this is the back um hold on let's get that out too that went through from there and then obviously you cannot take it apart um from well i guess you could if it would but i don't know if Oh, well, it'll screw, it'll unscrew from the front, too. Usually, they have a captured pivot that keeps that from happening. And you know what? Usually, 
you have something. Let me see what's going on here. Okay. You know what? I was trying to see exactly how this piece would function um, through here. And now I'm not sure. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, so it looks like we have basically a three-piece pivot here. So we've got this squared off here and on here. So we can take this off front or back, which Kaiser does on their clutch lock stuff, right? So they're kind of imitating that on this as well, which I, let me see if I can, okay, push this out. Oh, well, went right through into it. Okay, now we did. Okay, so there's the pivot. There's the spring. There's the ceramic bearings, pivot screw, blade stop. And, of course, another set of uh, ceramic bearings right in here. Okay, come on, get out there. And then this thing that travels around here. There's your, your button lock situation. Uh, okay. So here's where I'm thinking this pocket clip will be able to be flipped out. And maybe I'm just not understanding how that's possible. Okay. Um, I just grabbed uh, this and then, uh, you know, you could beat on the jaws here to pop this through here. Oh, it is definitely, you know, intact. I was thinking it's got to come out, right? It's got to come. But woof, that was an effort. Okay. Yikes. Uh, let me see what we got here. Wow. So this will swap over. It'll swap -o to the left. Okay. You know what? While I'm thinking about that, let's see what else we got in here. If we've got extra. Oh, we've got an extra piece in here for pocket. Uh, for the pocket clip. Um, because, yeah. But, I mean, this should fit since the pocket clip also transfers. Maybe it's just an extra or maybe it is one that you actually need. God, or maybe it's one that won't get stuck so hard. That actually looks like it should pop in there. But there's, there it is. I mean, it's, you get an extra one of these with the knife. Whew. Come on, baby. Come on, come to daddy. Let's just try a brand new approach. Turn you around. And let's see if you slide in there a little nicer than that. And I don't know that you are either. So it'll draw it in as you tighten this down. But uh, it's not becoming real easy to swap out. And you know what? I'm not going to do that because I don't want it left hand. So... There it is. You've got that, but it looks like uh, it's the exact same, and I should have shown that on camera. Let me do that. Uh, with the dogfish. Okay. Okay. With, the, with this plate. This plate. That's the exact same. Okay. So it doesn't matter. It was just an extra one that you get. Okay. There's that. Okay, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. But whoa. Yeah, we, uh, 
we definitely had to put the fear of God into this and it just drew it down really tight in there. You can tell coming through out of there, but wow. Okay, so we got a whole nother piece in there with a screw. So we do have extra hardware, which is good and a sticker and of course all that. So let's get that off to the side and here we are. So we don't want to put it on this side. We want to put this back on this side and uh, go forward. Woo! Baby, you have fought my ass all the way down to the docks, haven't you? Well, you'll, you'll pop back in when I draw you in on the other side. But uh, And then, of course, the button, etc., etc., which we will be, you know, popping that back in with the spring. There's pivot screw, pivot screw, liner. They're skeletonized. And uh, we got the blade stop, body screws. Of course, this is the actual thir third piece of the pivot that goes between the liners and, of course, the button spring and the bearings. So that's that. And, of course, that. So we need to put this in. Okay, now we're going to put this in. And some goop. You know, I'm not going to sit here and swear on it. It's the best engineering job. Um, I guess it works. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so we don't need... Let me see, what am I doing here? Okay, this, this, this. can all sit down over here without having to put that spring in. Okay? Oh, oh, except for one thing. We got a backspacer we got to put on. And we were not paying attention. Okay, which we need to, need to pay attention, and wrap this dog around here, okay, and put that right there. Now we can flop this baby back on right there. Okay, now, now we just need the spring, ring it ding ding and uh have we got have we got what we need here okay let's see if we do i don't know okay let's see if we do yeah, I got a pocket clip and body screw. And okay, so I should be able to lay this right down over here. 
like that. Now, I should be able to put this one on this side. And this one on this side. Oh, yeah, I guess it'll work. Okay. And then this has got to sit in here. And then this is going to draw everything together, hopefully. Uh, well, we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, it's going to draw that piece right in there, isn't it? Okay. Now, we got you all jacked up too much. Too jacked up and too jacked down. Let me see. Come here. Let's give you a little break. Let's give you a little break, too. Okay. Just for the shits and giggles. Okay, so now, are we too... Yeah, maybe just bring it, bring it in a little bit. Just, it's probably enough. Okay. I think we're, we're centered, yeah. Whew. Baby. Wow, that's some stuff. That's some stuff. Okay. How about that for a discombobulated video? Woo, baby. Woo, hoo, 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 hoo. Um, yeah. You know, I didn't want to, you know, tear something up or anything, but you can see that that can come out and you can switch the pocket clip, but it's not exactly just super easy. Um, you know, I had to put my, you know, pliers on it with my... Hit the hit the plier jaws with the with the hammer just to pop this out because that was such a tight fit in there. So, mm, but okay, it works and it can flip. And yes, they do give you an extra one, regardless. Uh, so it does work, and the button lock actually comes back together easier than expected. But it's a three-piece pivot, so it does make it easier in that regard. So there we go. The dogfish. Yeah. Uh, little uh, little disconcerting at first, but, you know, uh, it was just with this mostly. And then the button lock setup is a little bit different than some others. But actually, it came back together fine. So it's just... Learning the way, learning the way. Love them knives here. What do you guys think? I think you should stay sharp.